Disney, some of us want damsels in distress. This is a video by Al Teori. And I gotta ask you guys. We're gonna have two different discussions here, and I'm gonna start them both with a question. One, what did you think when they announced the live-action Little Mermaid? It felt really, really drab. And that they've done this so many times, I know what to expect, which is, first off, that they're gonna make it completely half-baked like they have done in the past. We kind of knew that from The Lion King when they tried doing that, and it just it was a drabber, drier, not as funny version of the original that was focusing way too hard on its special effects. John! The second reaction was just, why? <laughs> Out of all the stuff you could reboot, why are you rebooting your franchises that are already ten times more successful than any live action will ever make them to be. Mm -hmm. If we're gonna get a live action reboot, I'm still waiting on something like Treasure Planet. Make a Aww. reboot of Atlantis and give it 30 minutes. That would be friggin' awesome. Going off of The Lion King, the last kind of live action reboot that they did was The Lion King. When they announced it, yeah. that was Because th yeah. they, they announced this way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After seeing The Lion King, I was, like, very skeptical about it. And as someone who really liked the original Little Mermaid as a kid growing up... I loved it so much. I would watch it every time I went and saw my, gr went and saw gr my grandma. Yeah. We would watch it at her house on VHS. It was amazing. Why not reboot something that never attracted so much attention, like Treasure Planet or even... Um, I forgot what the other one was, but, but Treasure Planet, especially in Atlantis. Reboot your failed projects. Give us, give us John Carter again yeah. with good writing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or, or here's, or here's another one of the, thing. come up with Black something Cauldron. Reboot Black original. Cauldron. Reboot what? Black Cauldron? Black Cauldron. Yeah! It's not bad, but it needs more attention. My thought when they announced it? Because I, too, went and saw... I didn't see it in theaters, but I did watch it at a friend's house. It was the live-action Lion King. And I hated every second of it. It was the first I time... I theater, actually. It was the, I'm glad I didn't see it in theaters. It was the first time I ever uh, hated every second of a movie. Yeah. I do not remember the... the it, I, I do not remember a time before that where I vividly despised every second of a movie. I was like, okay, sure. Just don't use as much green screen as The Lion King did. Oh, God, yeah. And then, and then I watched this trailer, and what do I see? It's 99% green screen. Unconvincing green screen, mind you. Because... I can tell... Here's the thing, Disney. If I can tell where your real stuff ends and the CGI VFX begin, it's not well done and you need to put it back in the oven. The CGI and VFX look objectively abysmal. Also, Joe and Ben, look at the treasure room. Look at the treasure yeah. room. That doesn't even look like treasure. Look at, yeah. look at, look at how dark, dark look at how dark, empty, and devoid of character this room looks. If her dad, if her dad, if her dad was not in the center of the frame, I would not know what frame this movie, what movie this frame would be from. Instantly, yeah. you show me this picture, I go, that's the Little Mermaid, that's Ariel's treasure room. Take away her father, I don't know where this is. Is this in Atlantis? Is this in Talokan from the MCU? Is this in uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Friggin' Sea? Is this Journey to the Center of the Earth? What is this? How, how about instead, Earth? instead of making you know, a live action Little Mermaid, how about make a sequel to Brave? It, yeah. Something that we have, we will not be expecting. Or if you're so hung up on the live action, just give us a sequel to John Carter. 
or reboot it. I don't care. John Carter was great, and I want more. I want more. I read the books. The books were fire. I want more. Ugh. That actor deserves a break. Yeah, instead of instead of Ariel is massaging her male statue, I'm massaging a poster of John Carter. I want more. <laughs> Here's my next question. How did you two react when they announced the lead actress was going to be black? I think I also just said again, nothing on her, no offense to her. That was on Disney. Disney has a very bad habit of blackwashing their original characters for no reason other than the fact that they are of color. They check a diversity quota. Let's put them in as the lead character where it makes no sense. That was yeah, my take. Yeah, that's that's. Which is Jean Grey. Jean Grey from the X Men. She's gonna be black count on it she's a redhead she's a white redhead in the comics she's gonna be black why change something that's been there since like 1996 every adaptation of the little mermaid has come out you know whether it be toys uh new the, the sequels to them or plushies or promotional stuff everything has been the little mermaid has been represented as a red-haired white girl now if people want to be more diversified and people want to have more wokeness to it how about creating a brand new character they already did they did in the animated spin-off show that played on a disney channel they had she had a a, a, a brown skinned latin sister who was deaf and had to use sign language they already have their like textbook diversity character they just don't want to acknowledge it because then they would have to admit that the main character is okay the way it is i'm only burning my, I'm only burning my stuff i'm only burning my half Better class of cinema. <laughs> Sending a message. Everything burns. Everything burns. Even your favorite franchise. I immediately, when I saw the news released and I saw the, the, the selfie of her that they were posting with all the articles announcing her casting, I was like, immediately my reaction was, this is bait. Disney Disney is going to use this to boost their ad campaign by saying, OMG, there's been so much racist backlash. Because, you know, the best way, the best way... People to call her out because they... The black person to play Ariel. And they're gonna bank on people going, gosh, why did they cast Ariel as a black lady? That would why they put a black in movie. Ugh. Anyways. It's a little shield to say, oh, the haters are just racist. It's it's literally the Kenobi thing all over again. Obi Wan Kenobi was a garbage show that everyone hated for valid reasons, but of course Disney went, oh, you just don't like it because of Reva. And then when I saw it wasn't bait, they were in fact going forward with her. My first initial reaction was, okay, fine. They better keep the red hair though. If they go this far and they don't dare keep the red hair, they may as well yeah. not make the movie. And the red hair looks terrible. Red hair on a black woman? I'm sorry, it doesn't look good. At least in my opinion. Like, I don't think this looks good. Do y'all think this looks good? It doesn't even look red. It doesn't look red at all. That's another problem. The natural color of red that it would need to be doesn't exist. I was like, it's gonna be dark. It's going to be very dark. You won't be able to tell what's going on. And it's going to be devoid of character. Everything is just going to be frames from the movie. The same issue they had with previous installments. Precisely. They had the problem with Dumbo, with Pinocchio. Oh my god, there was a live action Dumbo. I forgot about that. How am I just now finding this out? Because it was a straight to Disney Plus exclusive. Disney that doesn't think right. Disney Disney doesn't think Italians can succeed. They're trying to make they're trying to make it look as close to the source material as possible when the actress herself has not been able to keep her mouth shut the entire time during the promotional interviews. She says they're changing the story, they're changing the character. Disney's like, "Oh no, 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 it's the same. It's the same. Let me explain to you a little frame right here in the trailer. Look. Sha la 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 my oh my, kiss the girl. They're trying to 
convince the prince. In the in the cartoon, guess what happens? She leans forward and tries to kiss the prince. He looks away and can't bring himself to do it. She's this mute girl he's been hanging out with. He wouldn't feel good doing that. He's respectful. Look what happens in their frame here. Sha la 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 my oh my kiss the girl. Oh look, he's the horny one now. He's the one going for the move. Like, she's going to turn away. I guarantee you. I'm not going to see this in theaters, but I guarantee you she will turn away when he tries to kiss her. Melissa McCarthy as Ursula has to be, like, the best meme casting I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> like, like how she was not offended the moment she got that casting call is beyond me. <laughs> like, she, like, she was either ecstatic or incensed. There is no in between. Like, hey, um, yeah, we need a fat, ugly broad. <laughs> Are you available at these dates? Oh yeah, did I forget to mention how much I absolutely hate auto tune and the voice correction? Yeah, they hired, they hired, they hired Halle Berry. She can sing. Why did you auto correct her? Auto correct. Auto tune her. It's not that they. Yeah. I mean, well, here's the thing. Autocorrection is used a lot more than you think. It's not that they are using it, period. It's that they are overusing it. Exactly. So you can hear it. There's a difference the between touching it up and just roboticizing her voice. There's a difference between using it well and using it way too much. Ben, I'm not an audio engineer, an and my ears pick up with it, too. No degree. I am not an audio engineer, and I pick up on it, too. Trust me. Trust me, I'm picking up on it, too. When I watched the live-action yeah, Beauty and the Beast... Her voice a synthesizer. When, I, when I was watching Beauty and the Beast, and um, Emma Watson started, singing, uh, yeah. started singing Bonjour, I was like, why? why is my ear tingling? I feel like a dog being blown a silent whistle. Why is my ear tingling? What do you guys think of that quote? I'm really excited for my version of the film because we've definitely changed that perspective of her just wanting to leave the ocean for a boy. Way to tell me you've never what? watched okay. the original <laughs> film. Way to tell me you have yeah. never watched the film. <laughs> tell me you've not watched the film without telling me you've not watched the film. <laughs> she wanted to leave oh, since the I day she on could it. swim on her own. She wanted to leave. Then one day she poked her head out of the ocean human things that is literally her goal in her own i want song i want to be where the people are i want to see him walking around on feet given how obsessed she was with life on the surface and with humans in general while the rest of the movie centered around the romance between eric and ariel ultimately still ariel chose what she wanted i don't understand why people today think that the little mermaid original is outdated and not empowering this so like yeah she basically just said what we said like, we were, we kind of got ahead of the game there. Yeah. So, yeah. It's not outdated in the slightest. I, d yeah, she just said the people pretending the original was outdated. Are we just going to forget that the movie opens? Her first interaction with her love interest is her saving his life? Like, are we just going to ignore that? Her first physical interaction with Prince Eric is him, her dragging him out of the depths. Saving him from drowning. Nobody came and whisked her away. Exactly. Yes! That's just what I said! Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? See? He turns away. Chad. Chad man. Respect. He's like, you are a mute. I just met you. That would not be cool. You're sweet. You're pretty. But I don't know you. That'd be disrespectful. That would not be cool. And despite everyone telling her that she was not supposed to think that way, or that a completely different race was not who she was supposed to with she still said f you all i'm going for what makes me happy there it's safe. exactly it's actually pretty again not a great moral yeah morally speaking morally speaking do not look at ariel as some kind of role model but like it or not she is she Don't was very your parents. <laughs> she was literally like progressive for her time she's a progressive yeah. liberally written character she's a rebellious young woman 
who fights and claws through life to get what she wants. This is real. Joe, are you seeing this? That looks yeah. like something I would have seen from one of our old, terrible Christian DVDs. Yeah, this... Yeah, like, this is like Hermie and Friends tier animation. This is this is this is who Bi this is the Bi this is the Christian fish that Bible man calls for a phone a friend help. <laughs> he looks like a sentient pile of crap. I'm sorry. No, nay, I have no. a sentient pile of crap in Final lemon. Fantasy fourteen. I have a sentient pile of lemon that got unearthed during Saruman's. Yeah, they dug up they dug up an urukai, but instead of it being an urukai, it was just this. <laughs> Because <laughs> everyone, everyone can't literally. If you go and look up images, very hard to get your face under control when you've got a freaking. You know what I mean? Even guys crumble in front of people like this. Indeed, yes. indeed, indeed. If I, if I, if I, if I met Henry Cavill, I'm the straightest man you'll ever meet. But if I met Henry Cavill, I would be very flustered. That was the best thing to come out of Captain Marvel. Just a gif of Brie Larson sucker punching an old woman. <laughs> that was the best thing that came out of that movie. I just want to say. She also didn't wait for Prince Eric to come around and rescue her. She not only rescued him, but she chased him. Had it been the other way around, people would have been calling it toxic and sexist. The original Little Mermaid does not. That is another thing. That is another thing we don't talk about. The dynamics in a lot of movies nowadays, switch them up, and it would be a huge problem. Huge problem. But all of a sudden, it's 2023, and as long as it's not a white person, it's okay. Like, it's nothing to do with Disney, but to this day, the biggest, the best example, the best mainstream example I can think of this is Wonder Woman 1984, where Wonder Woman straight up rapes a dude. So, the gist of it is, there's a wishing rock. Yeah. And Gal Gadot doesn't realize it's a wishing rock. So she accidentally thinks of Steve Trevor from the first, from the first movie. Yeah. And in what has to be the most ridiculous, contrived writing choice ever... Patty Jenkins, the writer-director of the movie, decides to make, like, Steve Trevor doesn't come back. Instead, his soul, like, possesses some random dude in the room. And that's how he's in the movie? Except he's not in the movie? Really? That's just how we see him? It's, it's like this professor guy who flirts with her at a party... And she rejects him, but then as she turns away, he tries to talk to her again, and she's like, look, I already said no, please leave me alone. But then he says, like, a quote from the first movie that she recognizes, turns around, and he shows her the watch, and she's like, oh my gosh, you're Steve. And then for the rest of the movie, it's Chris Pine, and she sees Chris Pine, and we, the audience, see Chris Pine. But there's a scene where he looks in the mirror, and he sees the professor guy, and he realizes I'm not in my own body and all that. And Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot just casually fornicates with this random body. Nice. And at the end of the movie, in the body. at the end of the movie, it is revealed that the guy is still conscious and possibly remembers it. Oh my god, I have never seen such bad Twitter arguments. That was a cool, that was a cool, give that a like. 711 comments. Oh, I don't want to comment now. I was going to comment, but it says 7-Eleven. <laughs> 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 <laughs>